How's it going guys and welcome back to uh, Experimental Cook Rookie here. Um, my name is Kevin. Welcome back to cooking with me. I don't really know what the... I I'm actually trying to cook pho for the first time today. Uh, so we'll get right into it. I don't really know the ingredients. I'm just following a recipe list and we'll see how it turns out at the end and if I completely screwed it up or not. So uh, yeah, let's just jump right into this. Okay, so the first step it said was to rinse the bones and the pound of... Uh, boneless beef that I have here. Um, I'm gonna do that in a sec, but then it also said to uh, chop the uh, onion and the apple in half and into chunks. So I'm gonna quickly do that first. So, uh, this is a Fuji apple and uh, it said a large yellow onion. And this isn't really large because my whole fist can go around it, so I'm gonna go like 1.5 of this. I'm sure that will equal a large. Uh, same with the apple. This apple isn't that big too to me. Um, I feel like I just one bite this, sort of. Not really. But uh, get the idea. I want something larger than that. Larger than life. Um, so we're gonna do that. <clears throat> okay, so 1.5 of that. This bag can now go into the floor. Alright, and uh, this apple over here. Random apple. Just hanging out over there. Alright, so we got the two apples here. So I gotta peel the apples. Peel the onion, and then uh, peel the onions, I guess, or chop half of it, and then we'll see what happens. Alright, I don't really... Oh, shit. Uh, oh, fuck. <coughs> Alright, um, I don't really have anything to hold the, the phone now. Alright, so I'm just gonna leave it here and pray to God that's good enough. And, uh... Okay, so I... I don't really have anything to- I have no camera help, so, uh, if that camera falls over, that'll be it. Um, so it says to have this and slice it or whatever or something. So, let's just cut the stems off here first. Oh, shit. I can't cut it anymore. Alright, so that's that. You can cut this end here, too. Okay, there's that. Alright, and then, uh, just... Alright, just get rid of that outer layer. And that's fine. Get rid of that. <coughs> it says have the onion and cut it into large slices. I'm already crying, Jesus. Oh! Oh! Eye refreshment! <laughs> Just what I've always wanted. Fucking tears, because I can't cry as a dude. Oh shit. <laughs> fucking tears, dude. Oh. oh. Fucking tears. Just what I've always wanted. Tears as a dude, you know, just crying all the time. Alright, so it says, uh, okay, so I have, I, well, that's not really half. I sort of thirded the onion. Oh, fuck. Cut into large slices, it says. Alright, if I could only see out of my eyes right now. Holy shit. Fucking onions hurt, dude. Okay. Uh, large slices. Alright, let's just go like, like finger segments thick. And there we go. Holy shit, I'm gonna end up cutting myself. Ah, I can't see! Okay. Oh, I'm like cutting with my eyes closed. This is so dangerous. Okay, uh... Uh, wait, how did I cut these ones again? Oh. Ah, oh, shit! Why am I cutting onions? I'm just... I can't stop crying! Holy shit, my eyes are so- oh god, why did I bring it closer to the onions? Why? Why did I do that? Uh, nothing like a good cry before you cook, you know? That's how you know you're gonna make some awesome stuff. Oh. Oh, okay. Let me do the apple. Oh, it said peel the apple. Uh... Alright, I can't... Am I really peeling it like this? Like, this is not a peeler. Oh, shit. 
So I don't think this is how people peel apples. Not with this kind of knife, what the fuck. Let's really use a paring knife. Oh. Shit. Alright, whatever. We've already committed. that apple now once it in chunks but we'll, we're gonna chunk this apple now all right so just chunk this chunk that chunk this and chunk that as well Well, now I want this in chunks, so chunks to me is like what? I don't know, just into like kind of squares, I guess. So. <clears throat> Alright, that's uh, that's that's chunky enough for me there. Alright, the onions was supposed to be in slices, so I did, did slices. Alright, uh, so apples, chunks. It's not really all that different, I think. I don't really know. Just uh, give this a little cross cut here. Okay, so just, just go with the apple chunks. There's that. Alright, cool. Okay, what's next? <laughs> Alright, so it says, uh, peel ginger and half it lengthwise. Alright, so here's the ginger. Um, I didn't really fully cut the other half of the onion yet, so I gotta remember that. And half of this apple as well, because it says medium to large apple, I think these are kind of small. I'm just gonna eat the other half of that apple on the spot, because I'm kind of hungry. Um, so peel the ginger and then half it lengthwise. All right, so peeling ginger. All right, peel, peeling it. The knife, very peeling with a very large knife. A loaf ginger smells very fresh. It said two ounces of ginger on the darn thing, but I don't know if this is two ounces. Actually, I have a I have a stupid ass measure here. Why don't I just use this? This is a this is a one and a half ounce jigger. Oh, one ounce. So I need two ounces of ginger. This is two ounces if I fill it up to the top here, because I used to mix drinks because I was bored, <laughs> even though I can't drink alcohol. So um, all right, so all right, I know exactly what two ounces is then. So it's two ounces. What if I put this two ounces? Put this in here. This is about this is about one ounce. Oh, so I need like two of these. Okay. All right then. Measurements. Wow.
gonna set a uh, have these in lengthwise. Oh. All right, so uh, let's just have the ginger. Oh, okay. lengthwise. me to do with the ginger. So. Oh, okay, so it also wants me to cut these into chunks and then smash it with the side of the knife. Uh, okay. Alright, so... Put big chunks here. Let's make them smaller. Make it look like pineapple. with the side of knife. I'm, I'm scared I'm gonna smash this and the blade's just gonna come flying out at me and then I'm gonna knife myself like that. Do I have a... I have a better idea. I'm gonna, I'm gonna smash it with some beef bones. Oh shit! Oh fuck. Might not have been a great idea at the first hit. <laughs> that fucking first hit was a little big whoops. <laughs> Now I know why it said with the side of the knife, so I'm gonna I'm gonna smash it with the side of the knife. All right, side side of. The... Oh, it's the ginger. <laughs> <laughs> the ginger's just being obliterated <laughs> all over the place. Okay, oh, that's fine, whatever. I'm just uh, lightly smash it. The beef bones was... The beef bone smash was too strong. Holy sh... Oh, fuck. The entire basement's gonna get painted by ginger. Gingered my face. I gingered my entire face and floor trying to smash ginger. The the beef bone method was not the way. I haven't even cooked it yet and it smells like pho already. <laughs> oh shit, god damn it. Uh, 
Alright. I did my very best to smash ginger. Um, at least ginger doesn't... It smells nice. It's almost kind of lemony. Alright, um, now I gotta peel the other half of this apple, so... I'm gonna just do that. So, uh, I guess I gotta rinse the beef and whatnot now, so, uh, this thing is heating up, um, there's an instant pot right here to the left, or right? I don't really know if my camera's reversed or mirrored. I'm heating up for the ginger and the onion, and then I have to rinse the beef and bones for now. So this is the beef, I bought it at a Korean market, I don't remember if this was the shank or the brisket. Um, help me identify in the comment section below. <laughs> If it's the shank or the brisket, uh, I don't really know. I bought a shank and a brisket, so. Alright, so this is the this is the beef. I think this is brisket, actually. This, this looks like a brisket. I don't really know if this is brisket. I think that's a brisket. Alright, so uh, that's, that's that. I'll just leave this in the sink. Got uh, four pounds of beef bone here, so. Uh, true, truly a sight to behold. Alright. I uh, pull these out. Oh boy. The dude said this was about four pounds. Is that okay? I was like, yes, it is. Four pounds. Maybe I might just chuck all four pounds in. I don't really know. Alright, so uh, just gotta rinse these off. Um, we'll leave two chunks in there, which is probably the remaining pound. Yeah, this feels like a one pound, one pound remaining here. I'll. Uh, yeah, you know what? We'll just do all four pounds. Well, whatever. We'll just do all four pounds, whatever. It'll be more concentrated. I'm okay with that. Alright, so that's done too. And you just rinse these. And just, uh, nice little rinse here. Nice little rinse there. Nice little rinse here. Slightly cold water. Okay, I think I should have moved this brisket up top. That was kind of dumb. I shouldn't leave it under the bones. <laughs> We're rinsing all those little bone bits into it. That's kind of dumb. Alright, so, uh, so that, that piece is uh, done. Put it on the side there. Rinse these bones. Just get rid of those little bone bits. Alright, bone bits are gone. Bone bits are gone. Bone bits are gone. Bone bits. Oh, lots of bone bits there. Bone bits are gone. Bone bits are gone. And oh, bits are. Bone bits are gone. And bone bits are gone. Okay. That's it for the rinse. Now uh, this thing is supposed to be hot, so. Throw the ginger in and the onions. Alright. And the onion. Oh shit, wait. Oh fuck. Uh, and the spices, we got uh, cinnamon, two and a half pieces of star anise. So um, that's what's being chucked in there. I think I screwed something up, so... Whoops. Gotta wash my hands.
difference. So I added in the onions, the herbs. I should have added in the cinnamon first and the star anise in there first. And uh, just let it like, you know, just neat heat for a while instead of putting in the ginger and the onions first. That was kind of dumb because those objects are actually harder. And I need to stir this like constantly so it doesn't fucking stick. Uh, smells really nice. Uh, I better turn on the exhaust a little bit. My mom's like, what the hell did you do down here? And, uh, yeah, I'm gonna be like, I made pho. I made pho? Uh, okay. Alright, um, yeah. Let's make sure that that's... The cinnamon and the star anise is in contact with it. We'll let it go for, like, some... Some minutes, I guess. Uh, so we'll check back in a bit. Alright, so it's been a few more minutes. It said toast until fragrant and, uh, you know, whatnot. And it might be actually kind of browning in quite a bit at the bottom there. So I might just add the nine cups of water now and, uh, be done with that. So, I'm not too sure, but I might let it go for another minute or so just to bring out more of that. Because it smells really nice and, uh, but I just needed to, uh... This one's kind of not separated there, that one's not separated, or maybe I didn't chop the onion well enough. So, uh, oh, there we go. And that one. Alright, so, uh, yeah, so I'm, now actually I'm gonna add the nine cups of water because I'm scared it might start burning. Alright, so nine cups of water, is this even a cup? I don't even know if this is a cup. Well, it's a, it's a container of some sort, so. Alright, so one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, uh, let's see, nine, uh, we'll go with, uh, I don't know, just because I want this to taste crazy, I'm gonna go with chicken stock on the ninth bowl, it might just ruin the whole thing, I don't know. <laughs> Alright, so, uh, ninth is, uh, chicken, chicken stock. I don't fucking know. I I just because I didn't add anything yet, and I don't have I don't have salt with me for some reason. So that's that's my salt right there, chicken stock. All right, how much is that? That's uh per two thirds cup is twenty nine percent sodium. All right, good. We've we've got our salt in there. Okay, so uh, all right, and then um, let's see. So that was about nine cups of water. Okay, I guess that is about nine cups. Hopefully. Um, just, just because I actually want to drink this when it's done, I, I'm going to actually drink this, uh, or maybe is that, is that going to be too much? Where's the max line? Is this, is this hot? I don't want to burn my finger. Oh, okay. Where's that, where's that line? Oh, there it is. There's the max. Max line is there. All right. Uh. All right, so it says add the bones, apple, beef, and salt. Uh, I already added chicken stock in as salt, so um, if I need more, I'll just add more to taste. So okay, so bones in. So I'll just quickly, carefully drop these in there. Holy shit, these things are fucking huge. All right, this, this I bought this from a Korean meat store, so it has to be good. A lot of Korean anything is good. Apparently, I don't know why. Oh shit, is this one locked together? Oh fuck. Alright, well, this one's going in first then. Okay. And then you can go over there. Oh shit. Oh, it's nice and warm. It's almost like a- Oh shit, it's reaching up that- near that max. Oh fuck. If it reaches that max, I can't do anything. <laughs> I have to pause. Alright, uh... Yeah, maybe I can't put all four... All these bones in there. Can I? I want to put all these bones in there, but I don't, I don't know if I can. Alright, uh... 
Uh, okay, well, I, I definitely need to put the, the beef in. So the, the beef, beef can just lie in there. Okay, you just, holy crap, you just barely make it. All right. It's almost like a, like a blanket. All right, apples, apple chunks. All right, apple chunks, apple chunks. Freaking apple chunks. <laughs> so, apple chunks. Ugh. I'm gonna have to exclude this one. Can I? Can you fit in there? It can't fit in there. I can't. Okay. I guess four pounds of bone really is too much. So, uh, I'm gonna have to figure out what to do with this later. Maybe I'll just like reheat it up with this one bone in there and nothing else later. <laughs> Look. Okay, I, I really wanted that last bone in there because I, I rinsed water through it already, so it has to get cooked like kind of now. <laughs> um, so I just sort of fitted it there. It's past the max line. I'm a little concerned, but uh, uh, yeah, hopefully everything goes okay. So um, where's where's the lid? I'm gonna lid this now. Where's where's this cloth? I need to wipe my hand. All right, so wipe wipe my filthy, greasy, meaty hand now. All right, so close that. Close that. Uh, oh. All right, so cancel that. I'm gonna send it to uh, where the fuck is pressure? Pressure. Alright. Okay. 20. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. Alright, we'll be back and pray to God <laughs> that isn't too full. Alright, since that's going for about uh, 12 more minutes, I set it to 28 minutes actually, not 20. Um, because, I don't know, I just want more out of the bones and whatever, so uh, just 8 minutes longer than what I said previously. Um, after this is done, I have to wait about like another 15-20, so I'm just gonna start preparing uh, the bowl itself. I gotta make two portions, one for myself, one for mom. And uh, I've already sliced up some green onions here, um, some cilantro there for topping, and I gotta slice uh, this beef into some really thin slices right now. and. Uh, I, I don't really know if I... It's gonna be so thin that like when you just pour the hot soup on it, it's gonna cook it. So we're gonna, we're gonna chop that right now. So I pull this uh, cutting board out that I didn't even know existed here until today. Oh, and then I gotta, I gotta rinse these noodles uh, in hot water for about 15-20 minutes. So... Uh, I need to go get a bowl. <laughs> Oh yeah, we're gonna grab some nookmam as well. Nookmam fish stop? Yeah, it's nookmam ni. Nookmam ni. All right, we're gonna grab some nookmam fish sauce as well for the uh, for the pho. I'm gonna just put this by the coffee maker. What the hell is this? Oh, that's for something else. All right, so this is for the noodles. Okay. All right, uh, that's that's probably enough for one person. Want two portions of this? Actually, that might be enough for th two people. I don't, I don't really know. All right. Uh. Hmm. We're gonna, uh, we'll go with a bit more than that. Alright, that should be enough for two people. So, kind of almost half the pack. Okay, yeah, I guess that's enough. That should be enough for, for two people. Looks, 
looks like quite a lot, sort of, right now, but it's just, it just hasn't, uh, been washed yet. Okay, so that's gonna go into the water. I'm gonna take the beef there, because I don't want that to be touched with hot water. So it's hot water. Hottest water I can have. Alright. I don't, I don't have a bowl or pot big enough for this, so it's gonna have to do like a half and half soak here. That's kinda weird. I don't wanna waste water. Alright, so I'll rotate that in like, what, two minutes or something? I'm gonna have to constantly rotate that every like two minutes or something. Alright, so now we gotta chop some beef. Uh, okay, I might just put this on a plate somewhere. Alright, so I'm gonna cut this into like super thin slices. Um, I need to get new glasses because these keep slipping off. As thin as I can, really, I don't... I think I'm better at aiming with my... I'm better at aiming with my left hand, I think. Alright, so we'll... Oh shit, I think this might actually be the brisket. Oh, oh shit, I think this might actually be the brisket. Oh fuck, if I threw the brisket in there then... I mean, if this is the brisket, that means I threw the shank, shank in there. It's because it's kind of tough to cut. That's why I suspect that this might actually be the brisket. Oh fuck. Oh man, these... <laughs> Shit, okay, well... Alright. These, these little, they're like tiny little beef bits now. I think this might actually be the brisket. I mean like, I'm doing really thin cuts here because this is, this is a cross section of the meat. I can't shave it down like this. <laughs> that's, that's, a, that's really hard. I should have just bought the sliced meat. Fuck. Fuck. Damn it. Alright, we'll try this fatter side here. Oh. All right, this ain't working out. This is not working out. Oh, you know what I should have done? I should have froze this. I should have froze this into an ice block. Because when I'm cutting this, this thing is like moving because it's a piece of meat, so... I should have froze this. If I froze this, it would have been like, you know, hard as a brick and then cutting it would be like very accurate. But, uh, I mean like I just bought this, so this is like extremely fresh, I guess, sort of. Like, straight from the store. And just I saw the guy like just finished like cutting it too, so. And just kind of like packages, so, um, I guess I'm gonna have mangled meat pieces. A uh, bit unfortunate, but whatever, it's the first time I'll remember this for next time. Do it much better on the second run. Shit. It really is very difficult to cut. Uh, what if I just do chunks? Let's just do chunks. Let's see if I do better with chunks. Oh, I better rotate those noodles. To, like probably boil these a little bit because there's no way these things it's a little too thick to just like cook instantly from being poured upon and the pieces are so small that it's uh it's kind of it's kind of pathetic <laughs> i prefer not to serve pathetic slices of meat <laughs> oh 
Oh shit. It's it's much harder now because I did this. Oh idiot. I I can only identify cooked meat. I can't identify raw meat. <laughs> Just strips of meat. Look, this is what you call beef noodles. <laughs> Actual beef noodles. Alright, that's. I guess that's like for one person, I guess. I don't. Ah, oh, goddammit. I'm gonna do to fix this uh, meat mistake here. I'm gonna flash this in like rolling boiling water in like 15 20 seconds along with the noodles, and then I'll pour the super hot soup on top of it, and that should fix, fix the cooking problem. It should be just right when it's done. Hopefully, that works out. I'm gonna be the guinea pig to test this on myself first before I give it to mom. <laughs> she comes home in an hour, it's late night dinner, it's like about like almost nine o'clock right now. Gets home at like what ten thirty or something, so <sighs> all right. So the water is boiling ultra hot. Uh, fifteen twenty six. I'm gonna drop these meat chunks in here first, just to see how fast these cook. Um, so uh, let's just drop that. Drop that. Oh my god, it's cooking so fast. All right. All right, and the, all the noodles in, just very quickly. Oh my god, why am I doing this bare hands? Where, where are utensils? Where are utensils? I'm not even right-handed. Why am I doing this right-handed? God, <laughs> I'm not right-handed. Okay, I don't know how to, well, I actually do know how to use chopsticks right-handed, but that's not the point here. Shit! Shit! Get back in the bowl! You're gonna burn! Oh, okay. Alright, that's it. Uh, I'm pretty sure that was more- oh, okay, I was pretty sure that was more than 15-20 uh, seconds. That beef changed color really fast, so... Pretty sure that's gonna cook fast enough just with the hot soup uh, when it's done. Um, Alright, so... Uh, yeah, these noodles are done here. Um. I gotta strain this. <laughs> Strainer. One hand. Those are fish chips. Alright, so, uh, I'm put this here like that. Alright, because I have to do this with one hand. Okay, all right, enough of sounding like Chewbacca. It's one noodle in there. All right, whatever. Okay, I got it out. Super hot cut. Okay, and uh, these noodles are pretty much done. That beef is like just, just a little over medium rare. It's good enough for me, I don't really care. Alright, put this here. This is for separation for later. Alright, uh, we'll wash that later. Well, I guess it's not fully. Oh shit. <laughs> Alright, um. That's okay, I'll just throw it into that soup later if it's if it really doesn't fully cook. Um, I have a feeling it's not going to. Actually, what kind of beef is this? I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna eat this. Mm. Mm. I don't think that's the brisket. Or maybe it is. 
Maybe I don't know my meats anymore. I don't know. It was really tasty though. So, um, yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. So in preparation of, uh, the, that's pretty much done. Um, preparation of it, I'm going to actually portion out the noodles to my own bowl first. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to put the, I'm going to put the beef at the very bottom because, uh, that needs to get cooked first. I'm not actually going to put it on the top because I don't really know how this is going to go. And I don't know what beef cut this is exactly, so <laughs> it's beef, so it should be okay at medium rare to rare anyway, so. Hell, I mean the packaging on it looks like really clean too, so I, I like barely didn't do anything to it. And that meat shop was uh, really clean. I should go, I should go there more often. It's really nice. Alright, uh, oh, that one's pretty fat. Uh, just line. I'm just gonna line this up. I'm mainly concerned about the taste and flavor of the broth here and the overall experience to make sure it's like actual pho. If not, then uh, I guess I just made some kind of random noodle soup bowl here. <laughs> and then uh, the noodles. One portion. portion of noodles. It's actually not big portion enough. All right, there we go. One portion of noodles for myself. This is so hard to do with with one hand. Okay. Uh, is that enough? Is that enough for mom? Probably more than enough for mom. All right, whatever. Um, we'll put these like semi-cooked ones at the top here. Take that bloody one because mom likes her meat well, mom likes the beef well done. I don't, I'm not a well done beef person. It's kind of weird. Okay, and then um, other toppings here. Uh, we got I thinly slice these onions like I get said I should. So thinly sliced onions there. All right, so just. Uh, these all in there. Okay, I'm gonna end up using all of that so I'm not gonna use the chopsticks in the cilantro here because I don't want the raw meat touching it. Those onions I'm gonna use the rest of the night so I don't really care. And so some of that there. My long thinly sliced green onions here. My favorite technique that I learned from dear old dad. Okay. Okay so now we just need the soup. Uh, we need the soup and some black pepper. Uh, shit, I don't have black pepper with me here. Uh, I'm gonna go get some black pepper. All right, I got some uh, black pepper here. It's not exactly fresh, but whatever. Um, so some black pepper there. Oh, I mean, this already looks pretty good just to eat just like that. <laughs> All right, so there's that. Um, I don't even know how strong that soup is yet, but... I'm gonna go with a splash of soy sauce on this. Or, not soy sauce, what the fuck, this is a fish sauce, what am I talking about? Splash of Nook Mom. Alright. Okay, and we're all set. Let's, let's not stick the chopsticks in like that, that's pretty rude. <laughs> okay, so uh, just chopsticks like this on the bowl. Okay, and uh... Is that pin still up? Shit, that pin is still up. Alright, let's just stop this. Because, uh, I can't open that lid while that pin is still up, because, um, yeah. Fire in the hole.
whoa, whoa. What does it smell like? It smells like fucking amazing. That's what it smells like. Wow. Alright, let's see what that broth looks like. I don't really even know what that broth looks like. I'm gonna uh, quickly scoop this in while it's ultra hot. Alright, uh. This is not really in leaves, but. Oh, that color looks really nice. I feel like I should sift this through since this is like boiling through all the bones and whatnot, so. Um, I'm probably gonna turn this back on, kind of thing. I'm just gonna scoop this into my soup right now because I'm, I'm hungry. I don't, I don't even know right now. Like whatever. Oh, it's kind of golden. It's kind of goldeny yellow. A goldeny yellow color. Wow. Okay, so I definitely chucked the brisket in there. That that's definitely a beef brisket. So uh, I can I can tell by the lines lines on that meat there. So that's that's definitely a beef brisket. Um, that's all right. Wait, I hope I'm not just scooping fat. What the hell? Wait a minute. That that might actually just be fat. Did I just scoop like a shitload of fat and oil into my soup? <laughs> I think I just scooped nothing but fucking fat. I think that might have just all been fat. Alright, I guess I'm having fucking fat noodles. I guess I'm having fat noodles. I'm gonna be super fat. Uh, keep... I'm gonna keep warm this. Alright, um... Yeah, let's... Just a little... Just a little taste test here. I mean, there was raw beef at the bottom, but... Alright, uh... I think I just scooped nothing but fucking oil. <laughs> I think this is just oil. I think I just scooped fucking oil in this. I'm gonna just try this, try this out here. All right, the noodles are, the noodles are perfect in how I did that there, so, um, Yeah, the noodles are perfectly fine. Um, I don't think I scooped soup there. <laughs> mm. I can use some salt. Mm, maybe like a tablespoon of sugar into the whole thing. But definitely could use some salt or fish sauce. I should add more fish sauce into this. Mm. But other than that, it's pretty good. Like, you can taste the spices and stuff. Let's try the thin slices of beef I put at the bottom. Like that. Well, it's kind of medium rare shit. This is why I try to cut it thinner, like this one. This one's super thin. It's the perfect texture. These thicker ones, I might have to just reheat it up in another pot. Mmm. Other than that though, um, I'm actually happy with the result. It actually tastes like pho, except other than the fact that my first spoon of soup was like all oil. <laughs> so uh, I'm gonna fix that by getting a deeper ladle. <laughs> all right, uh, let's, let's go for a deep dive here. Oh, I should have taken out this piece of the brisket there. I should have taken out the brisket and cut that and added that into the, uh, to the bowl. Um, let's make a, let's make a scooping spoon. 
space here. All right, let's get it right from the very bottom. All right, careful. All right, now I'll really know. Taste test. It's pretty good, it just needs a bit of salt. So uh, yeah, I feel like this is definitely it. Um, just need a little bit of salt. Um, that, was, that was really good, it wasn't actually that bad. And I need to uh, uh, s filter out those ingredients. So it just needs a bit of salt, so honestly just a bit of fish sauce, no problem there. Okay. Stir that in. Alright, I'm gonna go have dinner. Thanks so much for watching uh, Experimental Rookie Year. Um, didn't really turn out like full on exactly like pho, but it tastes pretty close to it and I'm pretty happy with the result. So uh, I will catch you guys later. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the quest for the upside down muffins. Bye bye for now. Peace.